Hello, welcome to the weather update. We have a very active night tonight. It's 9 o'clock. And uh, as you can see, severe thunderstorm warnings now being uh, basically extended right through to Long Island right now with this uh, line of thunderstorms. So let's get to the thunderstorms first. I, we'll just talk about what the, uh, yeah, let's just get to the thunderstorms first. So let's get take a look at the latest radar right now. This is the line right here. Uh, and you can see here it's stretching from Bergen County. It's stretching from northern Jersey. Uh, all the way through uh, central Jersey. So it's in New Jersey. You can see some severe uh, parts of this line here uh, that are uh, really uh, just making their way toward our area right now. It's not a lot of lightning with us. All right. Uh, the lightning, uh, very little lightning. There's a few strikes here and there. Uh, that's not really what uh, the impressive part is. It's the wind. Uh, and the winds are gusting in certain areas. Uh, we have some wind gusts with this line. Uh, and uh, we're going to get to these current conditions as well in a moment. But let's talk about the latest uh, threat with the severe thunderstorm warning that is in effect right now. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning till 10 p.m. for Connecticut. Uh, so 60 mile an hour wind gusts are, are going to be the main risk with this line here. Uh, this is the one for our area. Uh, let's see. Western Nassau County is listed in this warning, uh, and that is until 9.45 p.m. Uh, so uh, the severe thunderstorm is located on the line extending from Norwalk to near PPAC and Gladstone to near White House Station to Dublin, moving east at 60 miles an hour. And the hazard here is 70 mile an hour wind gusts possible with this line. Uh, so uh, they're saying uh, 945. So it's going to be here. It's going to be here probably as this weather update it, it comes up. Uh, now, except not a lot of lightning with these storms, uh, and they might weaken. Um, but we're going to have to see. There's a lot of warm air. Uh, that that's going on. You can see these storms have produced have had a history of producing power outages. So and that's due to these straight line winds that we're going to have to worry about here. Uh, Pennsylvania, we already have 74,000 uh, plus almost 75,000 people without power in Pennsylvania right now due to this line here. Uh, so let's get to the current conditions right now outside uh, and across Long Island. We do have the sea breeze and that could help weaken these storms. I see 56 being reported in Belrose. 58 in Carl Place, a little cooler on the South Shore, 53 in Merrick, 54 in uh, North Babylon. Uh, we go out to Islip, it's 54. But you can see the wind gusts are going up to 50, uh, 24. And, you know, we still have some humidity out there, two points nearing 50 degrees. Uh, but it's much warmer as you head into this uh, warning area. And, uh, yeah, let me just see if we can just uh, make that a little, lower that opacity just a little bit here. Because uh, that's too much. That's better. Uh, so uh, 71 in Central Park right now at night after 9 o'clock at night. 71 in Central Park, 72 at LaGuardia. I mean, they're in the 70s. New York City, New Jersey, still in the 70s. Uh, 72 at Lakehurst, 72. Dew point 54. Southwest wind at 22, gusting to 38. So this is the kind of energy that's going on. You can see it's a 40 mile an hour wind gust at McGuire Air Force Base. 72 degrees, insanity. I mean, this is crazy kind of warmth for this time of the year. Uh, and you can see where the where the thunderstorms are right here. And look at that, a 48 mile an hour wind gust being reported at Newton uh, with this line. So this is the these are the wind gusts that could be produced by this line here. Uh, this is where it is right here, and this is where you see those 40-plus mile-an-hour wind gusts, a 43-mile-an-hour wind gust being reported at Reddington. Um, so this severe risk is, uh, well, we're going to have to see what happens here. We have a 41-mile-an-hour wind gust at a Robins Reef and a 38-mile-an-hour wind gust at Newark at 73 degrees. So warm and windy, very wild night tonight. Uh, crazy uh, to see this in March. I, I can't, I, I tell you the truth, I can't ever remember it being this warm at this time in March ever. Uh, so um, let's go look at our high temp. We'll go to Wonder Map here, uh, looking at the current. Con we'll actually go to Wonder Map and we'll put the high. We had a lot of record highs today, so we have to go over that. You can see uh, 50s generally across upper 50s, but if you're on the South Shore, it's a little cooler. Definitely felt cooler on the South Shore, mid 50s down there. Um, and then as you go further out east, generally the further away from you are from the ocean, the warmer it is. Uh, and uh, close to the ocean. So close to the ocean uh, on the South Shore, Suffolk, you're 50. North Shore, you're closer to 60. Uh, so that's the difference you have, uh, what we're dealing with right now. Um, so uh, let's look at, at, and then we go into the West, and you can see, look at how much warmer it is in the city. That's where they're getting that really hot air from Jersey, and that's what's really helping to fuel these storms, uh, all this heat over Jersey right now, and you can clearly see. 
uh, this heat. It's incredible. Uh, so let's look at, uh, let's go back to the weather and hazards map. Well, let's first go to the high temperatures. So let me go back. I've got to go back to the high temperatures uh, for the record highs for today because we had a lot of uh, records. So there's the 70 miles an hour wind gust possible with this line. Um, let's see if we can get to the record highs because there were a number of record highs that were set today. Uh, but we got to go past, got to scroll down past these thunderstorm warnings. Let me just do this a little bit quicker. scroll past down here and there's also severe thunderstorm watch in effect for new jersey that's until 11 o'clock and parts of new york as well um so here are this is preliminary actually 74 record laguardia 74 record newark 76 record uh so um yeah, that's that's preliminary at this point they haven't really put anything up yet we're gonna have to actually look at the highs uh I'm gonna actually go to this here. Uh, they'll probably be a, um, they're probably busy with the severe weather, so that's probably why they can't. Uh, they'll do go to the daily climate report for Central Park. 74 was their high record high. LaGuardia record high of 74 as well. I'm surprised it didn't get warmer than that. JFK no record there. You can see where there was a sea breeze, no record was set, but Newark 76. So that's quite incredible, uh, quite incredible indeed. Uh, very very warm. Uh, all right, so let's go to the map. We can actually look, pull up the map here and look at the high temperatures. I don't want to spend too much time on this because we do have this severe weather situation going on. Uh, let's go look at the high temperatures uh, to show you. And you can kind of see here over Long Island how it was cooler, generally 60s, uh, and then the city was mid-70s. And then look, look at Jersey, upper 70s. They didn't quite get up to 80 there. They came close, but they didn't quite. If there was Probably because there was just clouds around, uh, a lot of clouds around today. It wasn't that much sun. If there was more sunshine, they would have gotten uh, up there. But 77 in Tom's River is still pretty warm. Uh, you compare that to uh, uh, Islip, which got up to 61. I mean, <laughs> it's a big difference. And here in Mineola, we got up to around 66 degrees. Um, you can look at some of the conditions here in uh, the Mineola area as far as when that sea breeze, if we got in here. Let's see. It's still very warm out there. Let's see. We go to this. We'll see. And I don't really want to spend too much time on this because of the severe weather uh, that we're watching tonight. Um, so you can see the temperatures here. Warm throughout the day here. Pretty warm. Hanging in, hanging on to that heat uh, here. Uh, but still, it's not as bad as Jersey. But still, if you're on the South Shore, you're a lot more comfortable. If you're, say, in in Belmore, you'd be sitting pretty with much cooler temperatures. I don't even think they got up to 60 there. Let's see. 58, yeah. You can see there was some short peaks, but then that sea breeze came in and it dropped quickly by the afternoon. We didn't get into any of that. It was 52, so we were, while we were sweating at 66, they were 52 in Belmore, enjoying the uh, sea breeze there. Um, so anyway, um, but hey, it could be worse. It could be in Jersey where it's really brutal. And if you go look at Jersey here, I'll go right into the heart of the heat here. The west western part of Tom's River here. Right now, it's saying, it's saying 65. It actually cooled off there for some reason. Maybe a little sea breeze tried to develop uh, for their area, perhaps. Uh, let's see. So you can see how warm they were. Look at that upper 70s, almost 80 degrees. So that's, yeah, that's absolutely brutal right there. That's absolutely brutal. So let's go to the models. And we're just going to focus on this uh, next couple of days, obviously. I want to get this weather update up because of the storms. So, obviously, HRRR, this is the HRRR, latest run at 01Z. You can see the storms here. They kind of, they don't really fizzle out completely when they get to Long Island. So, this is the concern here. You see that B in the isobars. That's, that's what indicates a sharp front. Once these showers and thunderstorms and temperatures drop, and we're much cooler for tomorrow, more uh, at a seasonable level. It won't be cold tomorrow, but it'll be much more seasonable. So, you can see the heat over, uh, over uh, mainly over New Jersey. And then as we get toward 10 o'clock here, you can see that heat finally gets pushed down uh, and temperatures start dropping. By midnight, we're down into the 40s. Temperatures actually drop pretty rapidly. By the morning, we're actually in the mid-30s. Uh, so that's why it's a sharp front, and that's what's causing these thunderstorms. And then it's as far as this run goes up to 15Z tomorrow. So if I want to make this a go a little further here, uh, you'll see tomorrow we will get into the um, mid-40s, mid-to-upper 40s, maybe closer to 50 South Jersey, but generally mid-to-upper 40s is what we're going to be dealing with. Um, 
And the skies, I'll just look at one mono, which is the RGM. Um, we will have to watch for the possibility of some cirrus around, perhaps some scattered cirrus. It's going to be more of an issue later on in the afternoon. Uh, but I still think that tomorrow is going to be the best day of the week because once you get past that, we've got another system coming. Again, if we look at the GFS here, um, we're going to have to watch another system which could bring a little mixed precipitation, rain with a little snow mixing in on Wednesday. But we're going to discuss that tomorrow night uh, because of this ongoing severe weather situation. Uh, so I'm going to just update the radar here. In fact, this is the latest radar right now uh, that we have. And you'll see here, here is, uh, it looks like there's a strong cell that is over uh, Bergen County. It looks like uh, Bergen County, uh, Paramus, up to, uh, up to um, Fort Lee, uh, that area. Uh, and that's going to be coming in and affecting in the Bronx. Uh, then there's another line. You can see there's a little hole. So we're going to have to see what happens. This hole may may spread uh, as this thing hits the city. But uh, it looks like it's over Newark right now. You can see that there's the line over uh, Newark and stretching south. And so, uh, oddly enough, it doesn't seem like Tom's River may get into this. Well, they are under a warning, so I'll have to see if they hold, hold together for Tom's River or not. Again, lightning. There's not a whole lot of lightning with this at all. It's mainly just the winds. Um, and uh, we can get some more observations here. Let's just go to the latest observations here and get the latest uh, observations here. Actually, I could just put wind gusts in here, actually. We could just do wind gusts, just display the wind gusts. Uh, so uh, here you go, 55 mile an hour wind gusts now being reported at Newark, a 55 mile an hour wind gust with the line. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can see where the, this line is gonna cause some very strong wind gusts when it gets into our area. Um, and that's the main threat with this line is strong winds. So I think that's going to wrap up this weather update. Let me get this weather update up there uh, so you know what's going on. And uh, we'll see uh, if there's a lot of damage in our area or a significant amount of power outages. I'll have another post-storm update, of course, if I'm not affected by a power outage a little later tonight. Uh, be safe out there. And again, uh, wait for these storms to come through. Within the next uh, half an hour or so, Nassau County, uh, they're going to be uh, moving through. Uh, so uh, that's going to be it for this weather update. Thank you for watching and be safe.